Chronic rhinitis sinusitis has a severe impact on quality of life of patients. And it has the same impact as, for example, Parkinson's disease or as, uh, asthma or COPD. And that is often not recognized, not only by doctors, but definitely also by policymakers. And we have a uh, obligation, I think, as rhinologists to make that clear to the public that we realize that these patients are severely impacted by their disease and uh, that we have a task to help them to make that more known and get better treatments for their, uh, for their problems. So we know that patients with sinusitis have impaired quality of life with regards to their nose. You know, they get pain, headaches, nasal blockage. That impacts on their sleep. So that has an ongoing impact on their ability to work and function at a normal level. Being unwell means that patients with sinusitis are not only less productive but often have to miss work or normal caring roles, so that has a direct impact on them. They have on average about four visits to healthcare workers each year, so that takes further time out and involves costs both in terms of hospital visits and medications. They have an ongoing cost in terms of the need for sinus surgery. But it has a broader impact as well and we're learning more that sinus disease can impact on lower respiratory function. So for the first time recently we've been able to show that having ongoing sinus disease is a risk factor for later developing asthma and other conditions as well. So I think it has a much greater impact than was previously thought to be.